Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Into Hair. Now, I want to share something with you. Yes, here it is. You see my hairstyle? This is yet another wig. Now, this wig is what you would call a half wig made by Ultra. The name of the style is Annie. I'm going to show you the picture. You won't be able to read the print because on photo booth it comes up backwards. But just look at the picture and you can see how long this wig actually looked on me. But imagine it was way thicker. Now the style is Annie. The color is number two. I used these scissors when I put the wig on my head. I decided where I wanted my part and I cut the part in from the front so that it would hang open like that and I could just leave a little bit of my hair over it so I flat ironed my hair to blend in with the curl pattern and everything. Now, the other thing I want you to see is this flat iron. See this? This is called Titanium Platinum if you want to know the brand. I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply. And this is old, that's why it's so beat up. It's somewhere between four and six years old. And this one is called Ion. Excellent flat iron. So, I set the temperature to smooth this wig out because, now I, I sewed the wig on. But what I did was, you see how textured it is? Well, when I put it on my head, it didn't look that thin. The wig literally sat up and out like that. I mean, it was just fanned all over. It was just hair everywhere. So what I did, I cut about four rows off and stretched the wig over my head and sewed it on so that it would lay nice and flat. Not too tight, but nice and flat, sewn on to my cornrows. All right. Then the other thing... In the back, because I took four rows out, it took the excess uh, thickness off, and it made it more believable. Now, this is not as thin as my hair would be, because my own hair sits about here, my own, my own hair, and it's not as thick as this. However, people usually ask me, Okay, now, is that your hair this time? Because they know I'm always going back and forth. I said, no, this time it's not Memorex. I mean, it's Memorex. It's not real. So anyway, but here's the fun part. When you, you know, get a wig, I want to share something with you. This is your little class time. And I want you to listen, students. This is Wig Styling 101. Now, what you do is... You get a wig, and I cut it for my face. I know I don't want a bang going straight across, because I'm older, the bags would show, and it wouldn't look right. So I break it up over my forehead with a part, and then I spiral the hair forward. And then after I spiral the top forward, I take the scissors after the curl is set and cooled off, and I pull it taut, and I cut it at an angle so that when I let it go, it's curled under, but then the ends just do and flip out and do their thing. On this side, I cut it at a deeper angle. You see what I mean? So that it will turn in further before it starts going out. But I still cut each section shorter than the rest of the hair. It looks more natural. I'm 63, not 13. So I want to make sure that it's appropriate for my age and my big body type. Now, the next thing I do is I cut the bottom. As you see, with that wig, it will be hanging way down to my navel. So what I did was I cut the wig where it would sit right about here, and then I spiraled it. But remember, the first thing I did at 260 degrees was flat iron the whole wig while it was in my hand. That was the very first thing I did before I even cut in my part. After I put it on, 
and I cut it some. Then I spiral curled it. After I spiral curled it, I cut it some more so it would look more natural. Now I'm going to show you the back. And we're just about done. And you see how my hair looks? The part is natural. And I work makeup to blend it. So that is your lesson. And I want you to know you can make a wig look like your hair if you take the time. You can't just plop it on. You have to customize it for you, not for her. You hear me? You're not Beyonce. Don't try to look like Beyonce. Work it for you. All right. You have a beautiful night.